Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video we will make a machine learning project. So this can be your first project because it is completely based on linear regression and linear regression is a very basic algorithm in terms of machine learning. So let's get started. Let me just tell you what is this project. So here we go. So congratulations, you got some contract with an e-commerce company based in Vegas and which sell clothing online but uh, they do have in-store style and clothing advice session customer comes into the store have session and meeting with personal stylist then they can go home and order either on mobile app for the clothes they want or on website okay so the company is trying to decide whether to focus their effort into the mobile app experience or into the website experience so they have just hired you to on contract to help them to figure it out so let's get started just follow the step i'm going to tell you and we will analyze the customer data and we will build the conclusion based on it firstly i will import some libraries i will import pandas as pd then i will import numpy as np then i will import some data visualization libraries like matplotlib.pyplot as plt then i will import another data visualization library called cborn as sns now i will run this cell so since i am using jupyter notebook so i have to write matplotlib in line here now i will run this cell again so now it's time to get the data so i am creating a variable called customer and using pandas i will call read read csv function since our data is in csv file so our data file name is e-commerce customer we will press enter and run this cell so now to check the head of our data to get some overview about our data i will call head function like this and you can see we have email address avatar average session length time on app time on website length of membership yearly amount spent okay so i will check info of this data set using info function okay so we have total 500 entries and eight columns or you can check data type from here like we have three object type of data and other are float 64 okay so since we have successfully imported our data and check the overview of our data now it's time to explore our data so i will use c bond to just to create a joint plot between time on website time on website and i will on x axis on y axis i will put yearly amount spent okay now i will provide data from customer and i will run this cell so this will create a graph between yearly amount spent and time on website and you can see all these are data points in blue dots okay so i will create another joint plot just to explore my data better this time i will put x equals to time on app and on y i will put the same yearly amount spend and i will provide data from the same set customer and i will run this cell again and it has created a graph between time on app and yearly amount spend okay so now for better understanding I think I have to create a big plot. I will create a pay plot for that. And 
I will put customer in it and I will okay so the pair plot takes time depending upon your CPU and GPU it's totally upon your computer because it is a whole comparison graph it will compare everything every single thing versus every single thing okay so we have here it is comparing every session length time on app time on website length of membership and yearly amount spent versus all the columns okay so it is comparing everything so you can get visual visualization of everything from here okay so since we have explored our data so i think we should start training and testing of our data so for train test split i will split my data into x and y and from customer i will in y i will put yearly amount spent and I run this cell and for x i think i have to put every session length time on app time on website length of membership to compare this so cause in y we have already yearly amount spent okay so to save our time we can call column function like this so you can just copy it from right here i will just select this and copy this so now i will create x like this and i will paste okay make and just make sure it is in one line okay so we have all four things in our x and i will run this cell again so since we have splitted our data into x and y so now i think it's time to import from scikit learn model selection train test split dot model selection i will import train test split like this and i will run this cell okay so for shortcut method i will type train test split here then i will press shift and tab like this and clicking on plus sign we will see all the example of train test size and here it is i will just copy this this will save our time okay so it's a shortcut trick you can use this i will just paste it right here and I will make sure it is in one line and now I will change my random state to 101 okay and test, my test size will be 0.3 I think now I will run this cell you can take any test size or random state but if you want to make sure that your answer will tally with me so I will recommend you to take test size and random state same as me so now successfully we have done this so now it's time to train our model and for that uh, we will use linear regression obviously it is a linear regression project so i will just import linear regression so for that from scikit sklearn dot linear model press tab and it will auto complete I will import linear regression okay so now I will run this cell okay so we have successfully imported our linear regression so now it's time to fit it fit our model sorry for this I will use linear regression like this and I will run this cell now I can fit LM on behalf of linear regression so i will call fit function and i will fit x train and y train into it y train okay so i will run this cell again and it is showing me the output of linear regression okay so to get the actual output i think we need to print of the coefficient the model is giving us 
so i will print my coefficient like this print and just to give a message i can use coefficient and to make sure it will give a it will make a new line like this now from lm i will call coefficient like this coefficient function and i will run my cell okay so it is giving me coefficient value of 25.9838.59.019 and 61.27 okay so since we have printed our coefficient value so now it's time to predict our test data so okay so for that i will make a variable called predictions and using lm i will call predict function and into predict i will fit x test okay so now i will run this cell so it is perfectly fit fitted in prediction so now i will make a graph to evaluate a better maybe you can skip if you want but i think creating a graph would be better for exploring our data so using matplotlib i think i will make a scattered plot okay so scatter and i will put y test y test and prediction because it has x tests predicted value then i think i will run my cell okay so it is okay so it has missing labels i, I just create some label i will create x label and i will name it as y test and i will create another y label and i will name it as predicted by it is just a label you can name it anything you want and just name it predicted by now i will run this cell again okay so it is showing us the label predicted by versus y test and you can see all the prediction value which lies between them okay so since we have done prediction of our data so i think it's time to evaluate our model although we have done all the things very nicely but if we evaluate we can check how precise we were so from scikit-learn package i will call matrix and okay so i can import i will import matrix that would be better so after successfully importing matrix so we will print mean absolute error mat mean squared error and square root of mean squared error so these th three things i will just show you how you can do that so i will just print a message here which is mae and from matrix i will call the function mean absolute error and i will put y test y test and prediction into it okay so i will print another i will give a message of mse which is and from matrix I will call mean square function and I will put y test again into it and prediction. So here we go and now we will print last which is square root of mean squared error and for that I will give a message of r mse so it is a root so for that i will call i will call numpy numpy for our, it's a square root function and from that i will call mean i will call matrix and 
from matrix i will call mean absolute mean squared error and in that i will fit the same y test and prediction like this and i will print for that i will just run this cell so now we have successfully printed our mean absolute error mean squared error and square root of mean squared error okay so you can create a visualization plot if you want between x between y test and prediction so it will show you the better visualization to understand the model okay so i don't think i will do that so let me just jump to the conclusion so we have already got our answer so i will just create data frame using pandas pandas data frame and i will put value of lm coefficient and make it x columns using x i will call column function and i will create a y like this i will call columns and name it as coefficient coefficients and now i will call coefficient like this so it is successfully created a data frame and as per model our requirement you can clearly state that user are using time on app instead of using time on websites so after making our training of a model and we have jumped to this conclusion so we have seen the app is working quite better the people are giving more time on app compared to website but uh, giving a conclusion this is a tricky so there are two ways to think about this develop a website to catch up the performance of the mobile app or develop a app more since this is what is working better okay so this sort of answer really depends upon the other factors going on on the company so you would provide probably want to explore the relationship between length of membership and the app or websites before coming to a conclusion okay so thank you everyone